Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Over the past couple weeks, I've been receiving three to four emails every day from photographers who are having a hard time sending an image from Lightroom into Photoshop. This is a bug. Adobe is aware of the problem and they've stated that they'll have it fixed in the next release of Lightroom. In today's video, I want to show you exactly what it is that I'm referring to and to offer a workaround. Now you can see I have an image opened up in Lightroom. It's an Icon RAW file. I've done some editing to it. Well, as a matter of fact, I've really finished the editing except for one thing. There are some branches poking into the frame in the top left-hand corner, and I want to remove those. I tried using the healing tools in Lightroom, but I wasn't able to successfully remove these branches. So this is something that I would send into Photoshop because the removal and healing tools that are in Photoshop are much more powerful than those that are in Lightroom. And to send this into Photoshop, what I do is I right click right on the image, I go down to edit in and I go to edit in Adobe Photoshop 2023. Now I have my Lightroom set up to send TIFF files into Photoshop. You can, can have your Lightroom set up to send PST files. It doesn't matter. It doesn't work with either. Uh, when you send it over, it opens up Photoshop, but you'll see in my case that TIFF file never opened. And again, if you have your Lightroom set up to send PSD files, it just will never open. So close down Photoshop, you return to Lightroom, and you can see we just have our single raw file here. Now, what is the workaround? Well, the workaround is you export the image from Lightroom as either a TIFF or PSD. You can export the raw file if you want, but when you're done in Photoshop and save it, you're going to save it as a TIFF or PSD as well. So you might as well send over a TIFF or PSD right away. Now to do that, you know, bring up the export dialog. I just hit shift command E on my keyboard uh, to do that. And I mentioned you'll send a TIFF. I would suggest they use the original file name. So underscore DSE 3357 in this case, but it will have dot TAF at the end. And I want to send it to the original folder, uh, same folder as the original photo. That's what I meant to say. And don't resize it at all. So it's just basically a TIFF version of the raw file. Nothing else really is different about it outside of that. So we're going to click export. And you'll see in the top left hand corner there's a progress bar. Lightroom is now exporting this TIFF file. Once it is done, minimize Lightroom and then go to that file. It's in this uh, hard drive and it's in this folder and it's in this folder. And this is it right here. This is the TIFF file that I just created. You can see I just created it at 9.14 a.m. Now we're going to take this and we're going to open it up into Photoshop directly. So I'll just take it and drag it onto my Photoshop down here. So it's going to open it up into Photoshop. Now in Photoshop, I'll remove those branches and I'll just do it very quickly. Um, try to do it very quickly. I'll use the lasso tool and I'll come in here and I'll kind of lasso these things. I'd probably do this in real life in two different, two different, I do this left one and then I do the right one, but you know, probably get the same result anyway. Then I go up to edit and I'd go down to content to wear fill. And then I'd see, oh yeah, I did it. So I'll go, okay. So they're gone. I get rid of those marching ants. I hit command or control D to get rid of those there. All right. So I got rid of the branch. See how easy that was. Now I need to save this. So we go up to file and we just go down to save. All right. So we're saving it again as a tip and just click okay. And lower left hand corner, there's a progress bar. Just make sure it's saved the entire thing. All right. Now get out of, close down Photoshop. You're done in Photoshop. Now to get rid of this, this is our new save TIFF file. So we don't have a third file. It just overwrote the original image. Go back to Lightroom, go to your library module and go to the folder that the original image is in. It's way down yonder. All right my working folder. That's where I have it. Now to get this image into Lightroom, just right click right on the folder that the image is in and go down to synchronize folder. And you can see it's going to import one new photo, click synchronize. And there's our image. Okay. And there, see the branches are gone. So that is my convoluted workaround to get an image from Lightroom into Photoshop and then back into Lightroom. Now it doesn't matter. Uh, the bug 
is Lightroom related from what I understand. So it doesn't matter if you're using the beta version of Photoshop, it's still going to happen. But with that said, if you use an older version of Photoshop, it will work. Now, I'm not sure why they say it's Lightroom related and it works with older versions of Photoshop, but it does. And if you want to load an older version of Photoshop, open up your Creative Cloud app, go to All Apps, go to your Photoshop app right here, click on these three little dots, go to Other Versions, and then you can see that there are older versions of Photoshop, 24.6, uh, 24.5, 24.4.1. Just try an older version. I would probably try 24.5, just go back a couple, and then install it, and then open the image up into that version of Photoshop and it should work from what I understand. Personally, I haven't tried it myself, but you could give it a go. Now, one last thing to wrap this up with a nice little bow I mentioned, because I just might get a question about it, that you could send a TIFF file or a PSD file into Photoshop, but either way, the bug still exists. It's not going to help you one way or the other. But if you're curious about that, that's done in Lightroom Preferences. To get to Lightroom Preferences on a Mac, it's under the Lightroom Classic menu. On a PC, it's under the Edit menu. Go to Preferences. Go to the third tab from the left, External Editing. At the very top, you can see the Photoshop version. I use Adobe Photoshop 2023. If you do install an older version of Photoshop on your computer, you do not have to delete the newest version. Just go here and choose that older version. Uh, you could see here, I also have the beta version of Photoshop on my machine. I could send images from Lightroom into that if I preferred, but I don't. But if I did, I could. Uh, but in your case, if you do have an older version of Photoshop, it will show up here. Choose it there. And also, I choose to send TIFF files. You can send PST files if you want to. There's a, some other options here for color, space, bit depth, resolution, and compression that you could change for the TIFF file, for the PST file, you have everything but compression. So that's how you work around this issue right now. Hopefully they um, fix it very soon. And as I mentioned, they have stated, at least what I've heard, that it's a Lightroom problem, but why it works with older versions of Photoshop, I'm not sure, but apparently it does. So that's it. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.